Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys the new sync bin tool of DaVinci Resolve 16.1 and working with multiple time synced clips inside of DaVinci Resolve. So what I'm talking about is when you have multiple cameras rolling at the same time for the same scene, and you want to be able to switch between those cameras, but you want them to be synchronized together so that when you do a cut from one camera, it's the exact next moment or frame that you would experience when you switch to that second camera. And the way that DaVinci Resolve handles this is that it will automatically synchronize your clips based on the timestamp of those recorded videos. So if it knows that a video was recorded at 6 p.m. and another video was recorded at 6 p.m., it will automatically have those synchronized together. So after you've imported multiple clips of the same time and location to your media pool, if you click on one of those clips and you go over to the sync bin, which you will find in the cut tab of DaVinci Resolve 16, which is relatively new, uh, then what you should see is all of the cameras lined up from top to bottom. So you see camera one and two here, but you can have many more cameras at the same time than that. And so while you have the sync bin open, you'll have each of those clips lined up as camera one, two, three, and so on. And over on the right hand side in the preview window, you'll also be able to see the preview video for those different cameras. So if everything goes well out of the box, then these clips would theoretically be synchronized well with each other. And so if you want to check to see if your cameras are already synchronized with each other, you can hit play and compare the frames side by side. In this case, you might be able to notice that my camera two is a few frames off of camera one, and we might need to go in and do a couple fixes for that. So if we need to edit the synchronization for these clips, what we can do is go to the media pool, find one of the clips in the sync groups. So those would be the clips that were recorded at basically the same time. And we right click on one of those and open sync group. So when we do that, we'll get the sync clips dialog window. And you can see all of the cameras that are being associated. Uh, up here in the preview window, you, you can see the currently selected camera over on the right. So if you want to switch between cameras, you just click on the camera on the left and it'll show as the preview for the right. And you can use this window to adjust the synchronization of your clips. So you can see here this box for sync by automatically has time code checked. So before you even went into this dialog, DaVinci Resolve would have already tried to synchronize them together. But if you need to resynchronize them, you can go in here and hit the sync button. Another way if the timestamp isn't working is you can have it synchronized by audio. So when you synchronize by audio, it'll be using the spoken audio data inside of your video clips, and it will try to detect the speech and line the clips up accordingly based on the speech and the audio that it detects. So you may get better results if you were to click on that and then synchronize. And then next to audio, you have two more options in and out. So the idea according to the documentation is that it will try to synchronize your clips based on the endpoint that you have set as a user. So if you went to the beginning of your video roughly and there was a moment of time that would be very easily recognizable across the shots, then you could set the endpoint at that point in time, such as a camera flash, and then try to synchronize based on that data. Likewise, there's an out option. So if you have something that would be very iconic and easily recognizable at the end of your clips that may work as a better synchronized point, then you can use a out point instead. So if none of those four options actually get your clips lined up perfectly, you can manually adjust the cameras until you get it right. So what you can do is find a point in time across your clips that is really easy to recognize. Like right here, you can see the fingers touching this pen here on the table. So I can switch between my cameras and try to find the point in time where on all of the cameras, the finger is touching the pen. So any of the tracks that I want to adjust, I can click on them and drag them over a couple frames until they are in the right position. So it seems like in this case, camera one reaches the touching the pen part before camera two does. So I can move camera one over a couple frames and try to get them synced up properly. If the cursor gets in the way due to snapping, you can move that and then it should be easier to adjust on a smaller kind of frame by frame basis. So now if we go to where camera one is touching the pen right there. And we switch to camera two, we can see that it's a little bit closer to being synced up. And if we wanna make sure that the manual synchronization is good, we can hit play and watch both cameras at the same time, uh, noticing that the movements should be roughly in sync. And I think that's not too bad right there. So we can go back here to where the finger gets touched and switch to camera two. And it looks roughly right. We may have gotten a couple frames too much with the top, so I'll try to snap that over with the cursor tool. And if we go back here, switch between the cameras, 
Okay, one frame before on the bottom, it, it's not touching. One frame on camera one, it's not touching. And if we go forward one frame, they're both touching. So I think that is the right frame to synchronize them on. So we can hit play, and I know it's kind of small, but you can see more or less that they're in sync now. So if we want to save that synchronization, we just click the Save Sync button in the bottom right. And now when we are using the sync bin, the clips should be lined up, and we should be able to take clips from either of the cameras, and they should be in more or less perfect sync. So if I go over to the sync bin, I can now click on one of these cameras to pull a shot from. So in this case, I'll start with camera two. You can hit I and O to set in out points. So I'll set an out point there. So for the duration of this clip from there to there, I'm gonna pull that into the timeline by using these tools over here. So a pinned would be a decent option here. And now we can select the camera that we want to switch to after that first clip. So I'll switch to camera one now. And what you'll notice if you look closely is that the next clip is going to start exactly at the synchronize point where the first clip ended. So we leave the end point alone, and then we can go over here, set an out point, and append the next clip into the timeline. So now we can do camera two, set a new out point for when we want the clip to stop, append it to the timeline, switch back to camera one, hit O to set an out point, append the next clip into the timeline, and so on and so forth. So by doing this, it makes it really easy to switch between two or more cameras while you're editing your video. So I'll just keep going and do this till the end of the video, uh, just kind of randomly to make it quick. And then maybe one more and one final clip into the timeline. So now what we have here is we took the footage from both cameras and we were able to switch between the cameras in a synced up manner without actually having that much effort. Once you have the clips synced up, you're able to switch to the cameras uh, once the clips are synchronized together, then anytime you switch to the next camera should end up having go to perfect continuity between the shots. So let's switch to timeline view in the preview window there. And we could even go over to the edit tab so that I can make this window bigger. And let's get rid of all the fluff. And now if we play it back from the start, you should see continuity between the shots. So let's go ahead and let it play there. And we can let it play one more time. The main point here is that the clips are roughly synced up with each other. If you actually get the automated syncing and you get it perfect the first time, but that's even better than having to do a manual synchronization. And this would obviously be really handy if you had a real scene where you had maybe more than two cameras and they were from drastically different shots, but you still wanted them to be lined up for continuity's sake. So that's pretty much going to be a basic introduction to the sync bin. Remember that if you want to use it, go over to the cut tab and use that form of editing with the sync bin tools. And if you need to open up the sync clips window for uh, resynchronizing the clips, then find your clip in the media pool, right click it and do open sync group. And then that will get all of the clips with the same timestamp opened up in this dialog where you can synchronize it using timecode audio in out or manually synchronizing it like I did. So that's pretty much going to be it for this quick tutorial in DaVinci Resolve 16.1. I hope that you guys got something out of this. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my future video content.